What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. <clears throat> we about to get into Riss and Quan, um drop disappoint video that left fans very upset. This is voice video. I'm not reacting to their video. Um, I was going to put it on Patreon, but I ain't going to lie. I already watched it. It's They didn't... Nothing. Nothing. Nada. And honestly, matter of fact, I can give y'all a synopsis of how I feel about the video um, since I did watch it. Quite frankly, I think that Quan meant what the hell he said. First of all, he kept telling her that he meant it. First of all, he looks disgusted with her. He looks disgusted in general. Um, whatever she did do, which I actually don't think it had anything to do with a man. I think that she has uh, overstepped her boundaries in some type of disrespect verbally to him. Um, it's given he ain't playing about her talking to no man or it was a woman. <laughs> But it's, it's definitely given he ain't playing about her talking to no man. So I don't think it's cheating at all. But whatever it was, he wasn't feeling it. You know what I'm saying? And he still ain't feeling it. It's like, what could be the utmost disrespect for you if it's not cheating? Now, for some people, cheating is not the most up dis disrespectful thing you could do. Um, sometimes it's loyalty and not, loyalty and cheating is not the same. People go through shit in their relationships, but that don't mean they'll let you, uh, get kicked out and put your kids stuff out <clears throat> or, you know, just grimy stuff like that. So I, I don't really know. Um, I don't know why they made the video. Now, granted, I've been here, done that. Hey, they don't have to come out and be like, this is what happened. I absolutely agree with not coming out, telling people what your business is because they use it against you unfortunately you you are in a vulnerable place you you telling something vulnerable about your life and yourself and people just kind of roll you up under the bus for it and quite frankly that's so disrespectful so um yeah that's what i got out of the video it wasn't much but let's react to what voice talking about Rissa and Quan dropped the video title addressing everything it didn't address nothing Quan definitely made it clear that he meant what he said about being single for life on his sister but being that Rissa didn't physically see the post because he had her blocked technically they didn't break up what so when Rissa took the Twitter what was she addressing you posted up a picture from a hotel room sis didn't get the memo sis obviously got the memo because sis didn't have her ring on for the past couple of days but in this video she did someone said in the comments of their video Rissa trying to show off her engagement ring to make a point Quan can't even look at Rissa praying y'all get through whatever it is they wasted my 19 minutes they basically said nothing i mean not only that the whole time they couldn't even speak cordially without interrupting each other it, it, it was no waiting on what you were gonna say or nothing it, it's clear that they're still not over whatever it is i kind of wish they would have just waited until they was over it. i understand uh the severity because of the the fans and stuff but Will we ever know the whole truth would cause this major upset? These are the questions we need answered. So much for addressing everything. Be for real. Y'all didn't address nothing. Should have just kept quiet at this point because what is this? Quan looked like he was forced to say anything to preserve Rissa's dignity. The way he can't even look at her, it looks like he was forced to do this video because Rissa completely trying to control the narrative. Quan, blink twice if you're in danger straight up. There was no point of this video. Should have just came with the prince like it was nothing. That's exactly what they were trying to do when they post up the previous video. But when people kept mentioning what Quan said about being single and that they broke up they was forced to make this video which in this video they really didn't say nothing and i get it y'all don't want anybody to know the truth of what happened y'all gonna sweep whatever happened behind the scenes under the rug like any other youtuber i call this the brewing phase when stuff continuously happened until things get real hot and then all of a sudden things just start to spill over and then a year or two down the line people start telling us the real truth of what actually happened and that and does happen and that does happen. And when he said that he wasn't coming back to social media with it, I knew we would be hearing the truth in the next several years. Or if not the next several years, the next several months. Because whatever she whatever she did to him, he is not feeling her. I'm talking about at all. <laughs> like, he not feeling her. Like, he was so upset. And granted, clearly he's going through something mentally, like he said. So... Um, it could be anything, but he ain't happy with her right now. And then we sitting there shocked watching a two hour video like what? I don't know if you just addressed that though, like with you saying like you were single for life or whatever. Like a lot yeah, of them so. were wondering like, oh, did we actually break up? Like, can we please let First them know? of all, you would not keep telling me that you about to be single. Uh, not, not about to be single for life. I meant what I said. No, no, no. Because <clears throat> I meant what I said. What I said, I meant it. 
He kept saying that. So it's like he don't want to be with her right now. No, like what's going on? Because you guys had All no right. idea. So I posted he kept that. Meaning it. That's how I felt. Um, I meant it. But in reality, at that time, I had Rissa blocked. No communications. I didn't like. It's giving she hit him with the. You can't break up with me unless I agree to it. Because when he said, um, you know, when you when you in relationships and, and y'all break up and the other person don't agree, well, that's just simply not true. If we said, if I said we breaking up, and because I want to break up, it's a wrap. We, we, were not we weren't in the yeah, we weren't in the right space to even be around each other. Right. So when I posted that, I meant that. You know, but I realistically, I didn't, didn't communicate. Yeah, we didn't have a conversation. So to break up, you have to have a conversation. There has to be some type of agreement. Like, she got his ass. <laughs> you have to be in agreement that this is what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. um, there was no conversation. Instead, I, I did react immaturely and just, you know, just said that. Mm -hmm. Although I meant it, I should have, you know but I was just not in the space to even, you know, talk to her. So, mm -hmm. um, so technically, no, we didn't break up, but um, I wasn't joking when I said what I said. So, it's, I, I wouldn't have took too many of them. Not too many of them, because I mean, if you don't want to be with me, let's go ahead and slide. Like, Ain't gonna be too many. I meant it. Cause if you meant it, stand on that shit then. Fuck. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if there's any other like rooms that need to be cleared up. I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. It only matter, but I just I wanted mean, them to know that it yeah, wasn't. Yeah, main thing was yeah. to um, finally sit down <laughs> and speak with those who really care. I think she wanted to make it very clear it wasn't a man. I ain't cheat on him with a man. It wasn't no man. I ain't pregnant by no man. I ain't had no baby, uh, w you know, on him with nobody, you know, whatever. It wasn't a man. That's all I got throughout that whole video. About us that exactly. genuinely support us. I mean, I know there's a lot of people that. Yeah, so that's what I got out of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video, man. Um, people go through their stuff, bro. And y'all know I'm one of the ones that been there, done that. And, you know, it happens. And uh, sometimes we just got to go through what we got to go through. Yeah, hey. But all right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.